Okay, so um, for the test reviews, so um, now Avery was talking about, was asking about going through the, this list of calculations. So I'm going to make five short videos rather than one big long one that talks about these five prescribed uh, practicals that will be on the test. Now, some of them are not really practical. Uh, well, some of them are labs that we've done. Some of them are demos. So we'll talk about them. Okay. I think Ms. Aragona kind of said it quite clearly in terms of can we do these things, okay? Can you explain how to do the lab and uh, analyze, propagate uncertainties, et cetera, et cetera. So let's talk about this is first video. So let's talk about the first one, determining the empirical formula of a compound. So when you look at, when I, in my class, when I look at my um, Blackboard, the only thing that I see is this one point on October 16th, 1.2.2 handout. So if you look at that handout, so it's a 1.2.2 handout. So if you look at that, you see down here, experiment 1.28. And we I've actually tried to do this as a demo uh, in class, but if you remember, it kind of failed simply because, um, simply because the tricky part was because the CO, uh, magnesium oxide, the powder was very fine when you're burning it. Um, it's actually, we instead of gaining mass, we end up losing mass. So in this case, that became a problem. However, in terms of the analysis, what you do is actually, same thing here, burn the known mass of uh, magnesium, calcul calculate the moles, and then calculate the mass of the oxygen uh, that reacted from the increase in mass, okay? So in this case, let me turn here. So, so let's talk about the magnesium, okay? And let's just say we're gonna mute, make, I'm gonna make up some data right now, just for the sake of our practice, um, just for the sake of our uh, going over things. So let's just say I use 2.00 grams. Um, before and afterwards, I, afterwards, um, so after my crucible and my magnesium stripped, kind of got burned up and became powder. If you might remember, it's kind of like a silvery white, not silvery, just white looking ash, okay? White color ash and it's usually a powdery form so it's a powdery form um so essentially at the end of it you have magnesium oxide okay because the magnesium react with the oxygen in the environment became magnesium oxide a balance equation would be um, two here and then you have two okay so in this case um, afterwards, I know that the magnesium oxide that burnt, um, let's just say it's 2.01, okay? Let's just say afterwards it's 2.210. I'm just going to make up a number, okay? Because I made up these numbers, it might not work out that well. So rather than just doing the calculation, now I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm actually just going to show you kind of like the game plan, what you need to do. So. That's a mass of the that's a mass of the magnesium oxide because you're supposed to gain mass, okay? So in this case, burn the known mass, you calculate the mole of magnesium. So in this case, find mole of magnesium. So in this case, we know based on the periodic table, let's use one right here right now. So it's chemistry stuff, periodic So if we look at our look at a periodic table, you will find that yeah, magnesium, this one doesn't say anything. I think it's 24 if I remember correctly. Too small, can't see. This is show. 
Oh, yeah, it is 24. <coughs> yep, 24.38, uh, 305. So in this case, um, so more equals mass. Mo molar mass. Okay, so in this case, divided by 24.305. So that should become um, 24.305 and that will give me 0 0.0822 okay so that will be the number of moles of magnesium now the second step is you're supposed to find um, find the mass of the oxygen and then from there find the moles of oxygen so basically the mass of oxygen would become actually um, the mass of oxygen would become just 2 2.10 minus 2.0 this will give me this will give me about 0 0.1 uh, oh yeah you can't see what I was doing so in this case 2.1 after minus before that will give me 0 0.10 grams so the oxygen that's added in here using this made up data would be um zero mass of oxygen would be mass of oxygen would be 0 0.1 gram so in this case number of moles um here keep in mind i will be using o just for the uh just for the oxygen so in this case um 0 0.1 um molar mass of oxygen and oxygen just by itself it will be 16 so it should be giving me um zero point zero six two five now Now, keep in mind, if you look at here, express the ratio of moles, magnesium to mole in its simplest form. Now, the thing is this, going back to our made up data. Now, keep in mind, these are made up data. So in this case, the ratio of magnesium to oxygen right now is 0 0.0822 to 0 0.0625 kind of close but just like what we normally do in um, determining uh, empirical formula you'll pick the lowest number and then divide both both mole by the smallest one so in this case you divide by 0 0.0625 0 0.0625 here it's one so um, what was it? 0 0.0822 divided by 0 0.0625. That would give me 1.3152. Okay. So now keep in mind, as I reemphasize this again, this is made up data. So, and of course, it's not going to match up as well. Um, but if we're using actual real experimental data, you should expect to see this number closer to one. So it could be in the range of, remember I talk about it in class, if you're 0 0.8, 0 0.9, you can round up. But if it is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, you can round down. 0 0.3, it's kind of iffy. You might want to uh, kind of multiply that. So in this case, you should see something closer, 0 0.8 to in the range of 1.2. Um, again, this is uh, numbers I just made. But basically, the steps involved in determining the empirical formula are here. You find out the you use the mass before of the magnesium. You calculate the number of moles. After you burn up the magnesium, you, the white powder, um, you collect, that is the magnesium oxide. 
you take that mass minus the original mass that should give you the mass of the oxygen. And remember, in our in my in our demo back in mid October, it didn't really work simply because some of the magnesium powder just it was so fine powder it was just lost to the atmosphere. So in this case, uh, we weren't able to do it. We were end up losing mass, but. In an ideal situation, you would actually gain mass. So I just made up this number here, find up the number of moles of oxygen. I put them in uh, the ratio of the number of moles of magnesium to oxygen. I pick the smallest number, divide by, yeah, pick find the smaller, whatever smallest number, and divide them both. So I end up getting this, okay? Keep in mind, the reason why I got 1.3 is because this is the made up value if it is based on real experimental value, the number should be closer like here, okay? Um, that's it. So that is the video for um, practical one, okay? I'll make another video um, about the hydrate lab a little bit later on, okay? Bye now.